Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And the goal of my YouTube channel is to make home cooking simple, practical, and efficient using my fast cooking system. And every time when you cook a meal, it is as easy as you are rolling off a log. And because this is the only way to make home cooking sustainable and to become part of your daily routines. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cook a dish known as hot pot or a version of it uh, using your advanced prepping. Uh, the basic idea of a hot pot is quite simple. It originated with a brass pot where you can put coal in the middle. Uh, this can be used uh, to heat up the water in the bowl. Uh, most of the food come uncooked, so you can cook the food in the boiling water. Uh, one comparison could be made of hot pot with a western dish uh, is fondue. Uh, in this case, you coat or cook the ingredients in cheese or even sometimes in chocolate. This sounds really delicious, but certainly very high in calories. In the case of the hot pot, the food ingredients that is being cooked is many different kinds of vegetables as well as different types of meat. The meat include chicken, pork, beef, veal, and lamb, but usually chicken is probably the most popular. The meat are often thinly shaved so that you can cook them rapidly, but you can slice them and they work as well. Uh, for example, the chicken in my advanced peppering that has been cut for stir-frying will work equally well. Uh, one great thing about the hot pot is that you can control how long you want to cook your food, uh, particularly the meat. After you cook your meat, you usually eat it with a dipping sauce. Uh, the dipping sauce is usually is a soy sauce base and added with other type of sauces such as a hot chili oil sauce. Uh, there are many ways to make the dipping sauce and your imagination is the only limitation. Here let me show you the hot pot that I have. I have something called a mini hot pot. It is a standard steel pot that is designed uh, to sit on a hot plate. Most of the hot pots are much larger, but this is designed for one to two people. I set up the hot pot with water and I add napa cabbage as the base of the hot pot. In fact, you can use any cabbage that you would like. And the hot pot is a great way to use up whatever vegetables that you might have left over. Both the napa cabbage as well as the regular cabbage work very well, but personally, I prefer napa cabbage. I usually set up the hot pot right on the stovetop. It is more convenient to set up the hot pot on the stovetop before I transfer it onto its hot plate on the table. All I really need to do is to get the water boiling uh, because I will be cooking the vegetables on the table as well. Uh, for this hot pot, I'm going to use two types of mushroom. The first mushroom that I'm going to use in this hot pot is a mushroom known as maitake mushroom. It is given to me by a friend and he collected them in the wild. Uh, this mushroom only available in the fall and it is a real treat. Uh, the second mushroom that I use in the hot pot uh, is a white traditional mushroom that I purchased from the supermarket. So as you can see here that we really enjoy mushrooms. Now there are many different ways to make hot pot and one way that we use here uh, is to use the vegetable to form the soup base. Whereas in some other version of hot pot, uh, spice and herbs will be added to the soup. Uh, this will create a strong flavor in the soup, but we prefer the natural flavor of the soup. So I normally do not add any herbs and spices at all and just use the vegetable to create the flavor for the soup. Another almost essential ingredient that goes with the hot pot is tofu. My friend Nina, uh, she does not like tofu at all, except when the tofu is in the hot pot. 
after you boil the tofu in the hot pot for a while, it becomes really soft and it absorbs the flavor from the soup. I like tofu in general, but I agree with Nina completely that the tofu in the hot pot has to be the very best in flavor as well as in texture. I usually fill the bowl a full with vegetables as well as tofu and bring everything to a boil before I transfer it to the hot plate on the table. You can put almost any vegetable that you like into the hot pot, but you should avoid the vegetables that after you boil them for a while, they will turn mushy. For example, I will avoid vegetables such as broccoli and cauliflower. But vegetables like kale and char will work very well. And now the water has come to boil. I bring the stainless steel pot and put it on the hot plate on the table. And this is where the fun begins. Uh, each diner will cook their own meat. And they will put the meat in a small stainless steel basket. And they then put the basket into the boiling water uh, to cook the meat. And for this hot pot, we use both chicken and shrimp. I use the chicken from my advanced prepping, and I use the shrimp that I normally use for stir-frying. Therefore, no prepping is necessary for the meat, and because I already have all the vegetables available in my advanced prepping, uh, setting up the hot pot takes only about 10 to 15 minutes. It is one of those meals on the surface it appears to be complicated, but if you have everything available to you, it is straightforward and simple to have it get going. Uh, the beauty of the hot pot is that everybody can control exactly how much they want to cook their meat. Uh, they can choose the meat that they prefer, and we usually will have three kinds of meat, that is chicken, beef, and shrimp. And with advanced prepping, everything is already cut and ready to go. All I have to do is thawing them out in a bowl of warm water in about 10 minutes. In addition to the meat, the vegetable is already being cooked, and everybody just take whatever they want. It is a wonderful meal, particularly on a cold, wintry evening. There are many ways to eat the food that you cook. Most of the time, you use a dipping sauce. Our favorite is to use a soy sauce together with a fried chili in oil sauce. And sometimes we also use the sriracha sauce. And my friend Nina, the one who loves tofu, uh, will use soy sauce together with peanut butter. Uh, I was inspired to put this video together uh, because my friend Regina, who lives in Madison, Wisconsin, sent me a picture of a hot pot dinner that she had with her friends and her two sons. Uh, one thing that I noticed in this picture that I have never seen before is that there are four induction burners built right into the table uh, so that everyone has their own mini hot pot. I guess I am a traditionalist. I prefer the sharing and occasionally fighting with other diners for the food ingredients in the hot pot. And if you have adopted my fast cooking system uh, with flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, uh, making this hot pot is really simple. I post a video each day uh, to introduce my fast cooking system. And if you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.